The participant of Senior Executive Course 44 Group 7 of 2022 of the National Institute for Policy and Strategic Studies, NIPS, Kuru Jaws, were in Borno State on a study tour as part of their mandatory training. The study tour with the team, Strengthening Local Governance, Challenges, Options and Opportunities, is aimed to enhance best practice in governance. The NIPS participants, led by its Director General, Professor Ayo Omothayo, were at the Government House on a courtesy to Governor Babagana Umar Azalum, who is an alumni of the Institute, and intimated him about their study tour to Borno State. The Excellency is one of us. <laughs> Out of about 13 states in the Federation that has international borders, only Bono State has a border with three different countries, and that means it is a very unique state in Nigeria. Bono State, unfortunately, has been the theater of an unnecessary war, and we have heard about how Bono State is recovering from the effects of the unfortunate war. In an address, Governor Babagana Umara commended the NIPS delegation for their choice to visit Bono and describe the theme of this year, strengthening local governance in Nigeria, challenges, options and opportunities as timely. I think so, I sincerely believe that Borno said has cream that are cream. As its indigenous who will be sharing with their fair knowledge local governance that at the end of your local tour with something very tangible in your mind that will enrich your recommendations. Similarly, the Senior Executive Course 44 participants of the National Institute, led by the Director General Professor Ayo Omothayo, have paid homage on the Sheo of Borno to seek for his royal blessing as they engage the people of Borno. The Director General told the show that Borno was selected for the tour due to its long history and strategic location, adding that the Institute has 90 participants drawn from different sectors of the country, grouped into seven different groups, with a view to expanding their outlook aimed at providing answers to various developmental challenges in the country. Every year we choose a thing that helps us to look at the Nigerian problem and to look at all of these things, reflect research and engage with stakeholders and come up with solutions that may help us to make our country a better place. That is why we are here to meet with you as the show to seek from your reign of wisdom, to seek your views, ask for your opinion, and take your advice on how you think Nigeria can proceed in the course of development. In a remark, the Sheikh of Borno al Haji Abubakar ibn Umar Garbe al Amin al Kanemi lauded the DG and the course 44 participants for visiting the palace, saying it's a sign of respect to the traditional institution and wish them fruitful research. He urged the federal government not to relent in supporting the state in its developmental drive to regain its lost glory as home of peace and hospitality. And I welcome to Borno, my degree is home of peace and hospitality. Thank you. As part of the study tower, the state government organized a one-day workshop for participants of Group 7 of the Senior Executive Course 44 2022 at Conference Hall of Musa Osman Secretariat based on the team Strengthening Local Governance in Nigeria, Challenges, Options and Opportunities. In his address, Professor Babagana Umar Azulam reassured to provide the needed leadership to the people of Borno State, stressing that transparency, accountability, and commended the resilience of Borno people. One day workshop was organized as part of the activities of our August Ministers on local study tour in order to increase understanding of the complex issues surrounding local governance in Borno State and other situations. 
excluded interest in the challenges of local government administration in the state. The students participants, ladies and gentlemen, while the experts will be speaking on various topics outside of them, permit me to find out that development can be achieved without good governance at all. In a remark, the Director General Nibs, Professor Ayo Omothayo, appreciated government and people of Borno State for the warm reception and hospitality accorded the participant of Executive Course 44 2022. On behalf of every member of Sec 44 2022, I would like to extend a warm It is not all the time, in fact, it has only been on a few occasions, that a state governor will put together a special workshop to address the theme of our discourse for the year. I think the executive governor deserves a big round of applause. Dr. Blama Maligubio, who is also an alumni of the Institute, chaired the workshop lauded the effort of Gafnu Babagana Umar Azlam for bringing participants of the Apex Institute of Policy in the country. People think that going to the National Institute is just a job money. It is the most difficult institution of life. You have to crack your brain. You have to exert your image to make sure that you deserve the title to MNI. Resource persons at the workshop dwelled extensively on strengthening local governance in Nigerian challenges, options and opportunities being the theme of the study tour, include Professor Harun al Takwa, Professor Ibrahim Umara, and Dr. Garba Ibrahim, among many others. When we speak about global governments in Nigeria, we are also implying, and I think we should put more emphasis on, local governments. From my observation so far, what has been the tradition is when the topic of local government is discussed, it creates a lot of tension, apprehension, misunderstanding, and confrontation among key stakeholders, depending on which side of the local governments they belong. We look at why uh, local governments emerge. Historically, local government emerge in order to address the problem, problems of governance in terms of size of quality. The connection of community and the governance is so central, which is also related to the question of retail respect. Because the problem that we find ourselves is as a result of ungovernable space. Spaces are governed by traditional authorities. In a situation where traditional institutions have ability to perform authoritatively, we are deliberately emasculated by modern politicians, through modern political institutions. It creates a huge dislocation and disconnect between the actual people and the political institution that created this state of pandemonium. Established in 1978, most policy makers in Nigeria have attended NIPS with notable graduates of the institute to include the executive governor of Borno State, Professor Babagana Umar Azilum, MNI, Chairman Borno State Civil Service Commission, Dr. Bulama Mali Gubio, MNI, the former Nigerian head of state, General Ibrahim Babangida, among other prominent personalities. The participant of Group 7 Course 44, led by the directing staff, Brigadier General W.D. Nasser, began their engagement with a visit to the Medigri Metropolitan Council Secretariat and interacted with the council official. We are members of the National Institute for Policy and before you today are members of Group 7 who are in a degree on a state study tour. 
This year, the president directed these participants to study on the team, strengthening local governance. Challenges, options, and opportunities. The MMC chairman, Ali Umar Abuluri, had Alia welcomed the study group to the MMC. You are coming to my Duguri Metropolitan Council is an indication of your determination and commitment to get thorough and clean information that may be beneficial to your students. Similarly, the NIPS participants, led by Brigadier General W.D. Nasser and Navy Komodo C.N. Anyako, were at the Borno State House of Assembly on the same mission, were received by the leader of the House, D.G. Muhammad of Kalabalgi, and briefed the delegation on functions of the House. Borno State House of Assembly is the legislative arm of the Borno State government charged constitutionally with the major role of making laws for good governance of the state, providing clear and equal representation, as well as provide objective oversight over the executive and judicial arm of the state. The United Assembly of Borno State House of Assembly has achieved many feats because all the three major principles of good governance, accountability, transparency, and participation have been adopted in the lawmaking process in the House to ensure that our laws stand the case of time. In a remark, the directing staff, Brigadier General Nasser said, the visit of the State House of Assembly is imperative, looking at the theme for participants of this year's executive course, so as to interact and understand the challenges, options and opportunity. The Group 7 participants continued their engagement visit to the Borno State Local Government Service Commission and were received by the Chairman of the Commission, Senator Kakamale Miali, Permanent Commissioners and the Management Staff. The directing staff briefed the commission on its institute tax to study a topic, and this year the research focused on strengthening good governance in Nigeria. Hence the visit to the commission and have first-hand information on their contribution to local governance. These study tours include local study tours within the country, as well as study tours within Africa, and study tours in the intercontinental level so as to see global best practices. The Chairman Local Government Service Commission, Senator Kakamalin Yale said, mandate of the commission is to recruit, promote, discipline and train local government staff, adding that local government system is an important tier of government the world over. In the meantime, the Group 7 of Course 44 2022 have interacted with the Permanent Secretary's Ministry of Education, Al Haju Muhammad Abachangala, and that of Borno State Universal Basic Education, Al Haji Tahir Shatima, as well as the Executive Chairman, Borno State Independent Electoral Commission, Al Haji Lawan Maina, on promoting good governance, challenges, options, and opportunities. The engagement of participants of the National Institute for Policy and Strategic Studies, Group 7, Course 44 of 2022, led by the Director General, Professor Ayo Omothayo, took them to Magumiri local government, about 44 kilometers north of Meduguri, the capital city of Borno State. Dr. Ali Lawan Yomi is the Executive Chairman, Magumiri Local Government Council welcomed the NIP study group to his area in continuation of their engagements with critical stakeholders and agencies of government in accordance with the theme of their study tower. The engagement was indeed revealing and the Director General Professor Ayo Omothayo, the directing staff and the course participants were impressed with the party. The local governments have a lot of roles to play we look at every other aspect of the way we govern our local systems. And of course, there are a lot of areas where we have to cover. We look at the way we run our schools locally. 
We look at the way we run our health systems locally. We look at the way we run our elections locally. In a remark, the Magumeri Council Chairman, Dr. Ali Lawan Yomi, presented a paper on the challenges, options, and opportunities of the local government, appreciating the state governor, Professor Babagana Umar Azalum, for conducting the local government elections after 13 years. And appreciate you for this very important story tour to Magumeri local government, which is called Strengthening Local Governance in Nigeria. Challenges, options, and the opportunities. Dr. Ali Yomi, a chemical engineer by training, had a well-articulated five goals policy document to guide his council based on independent need assessment of all accessible areas. We also complement whatever His Excellency does at the grassroots. We also have to have a policy document or a framework that will be a guide for us to achieve what we want to achieve in two years of our tenure. And that policy document, we tagged it Dr. Yogi's Five Goals for the Growth and Development of Montgomery, a new paradigm. The chairman was pleased to announce that his council has achieved 80% successes within the one and a half years and conducted round the August visitors to projects executed by the council within Montgomery Township. It is hard to see people of your structure for all local governments. You are indeed an exemplary Nigerian. <laughs> to have a PhD holder who also is an engineer, a university lect senior lecturer, leave all the good things in the city, come to a local government to offer service is a very, very unusual thing. Mr. Chairman, I wish we can, we will, we will on our own part, we take your story very far. We will take your story very far. And we will do all we can in our own powers to ensure that this example you have made is broadcasted all over Nigeria. Similarly, the NIPS participants were also at the 7th Division Garrison Command of the Nigerian Army Medigree to intimate security personnel on the focus of their assignment, that is, strengthening local governance in Nigeria. The NIPS Director General, Professor Ayo Omothayo, described security as a key factor of the team. The Garrison Commander, 7th Division Nigerian Army, Brigadier General Abubakar Garba Haruna, who is also the chairman of Borno State Security Operatives Forum, presented a comprehensive paper on counterinsurgency in the Northeast sub region. The Borno State Commissioner of Police, Abdu Umar, Director of State Security Service, Murtala Marafa, and the Commandant, Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, Commandant Farouk Musa, also met presentations during the interactive session. The Borno Emirate Council members, led by Ibrahim Wadaima of Borno, Abba Yusuf Abba Masa, also had a robust engagement with the NIPS Course 44. Professor Bosoma Sharif made presentation for the Emirate Council on the functions of the Emirate towards promoting good governance. The views and opinions of the Borno Emirate Council regarding local government as contained in the initial objectives of creating local government are to ensure a rapid development of the rural areas, especially by providing basic infrastructure. Similarly, the Nigerian Labour Congress, civil society organizations, National Council of Women Society, and the National Youth Council of Nigeria also had interacted with the participant of the National Institute for Policy and Strategic Studies, Group 7, Course 44-2022. Inadequate finances. Monthly statutory allocation funds to local government are under the control of the state government. Largely, one way or the other shows that there is a very extremely alarming mentorship deficit in the Nigerian system. And from here, I know 
The Solicitor General and Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Justice, Barista Audu Useni Isge, was also a guest of the NIP study group and gave an elaborate presentation on the legal aspect of Borno state government policies towards strengthening good governance in Borno. Similarly, the participants were at the offices of the Permanent Secretaries of Administration and Cabinet Affairs, Al Hajit and Juma Ali. Finance, Budget and Economic Planning, Hajia Mariam Shehu. Health and Human Services, Dr. Mohamed Aminu Nguluze. So what we have for you today is a brief of activities and we have lots and lots of materials which we need to hand over to you to take home. And I hope you will get this for the While the Permanent Secretaries of Works, Engineer Ali Goni, Lowen, Local Government and Emirate Affairs, Tahiru Shetima, Agriculture and Natural Resources, Malam Bulamagana, were at the Subeb Conference Hall for a similar mission. As part of their study tour, the participants of Course 44 were at the Palace of the Shiu of Bama, Al Haji Umar Kari Umar Al Kanemi, in Bama Town. Headquarter of Bama local government. The delegations were received by Secretary of Bama Emirate Council, Lawan Makinta, and briefed the NIPS participants on the functions of the Emirate. On behalf of His Royal Highness the Shehu of Bama, Umar Kiari Umar El Kenimi, Council members, and the entire Bama Emirate, welcome you to the Shehu's Palace and wish you a pleasant and successful tour of the local government. While in Bama, the participant interacted with the local government officials, led by the council chairman, Abba Kalu Kumshe, on strengthening local governance, its challenges, options, and opportunities. The participant were also at the Kondiga local government secretariat on a similar mission and had an interactive session with the council chairman, Abba Saje Mamman Nur. The council members, community leaders, and stakeholders on the imperatives of a good governance, challenges and opportunities. It's special in the history of this local government because it is the first time of us to a prominent and distinguished personalities across the country from the National Institute of Policy and Strategic State School of Justice that kept up with a very important mission of strengthening local governance in Nigeria Challenges, options, and opportunities. During the week long study tour of Borno State, the senior executive course 44 2022 visited the ultra modern Vocational Enterprise Institute in Muna, constructed by Governor Babagana Umara Zulum administration, to train up to 1,500 youth on 14 different threads that include. ICT and computer maintenance, hairdressing and barbing saloon, tailoring and fashion design, leather wax, carpentry and joinery, solar installation and repairs among others. <laughs> In all their engagements, the participants were given a working guide to facilitate their assignment. They equally present a memorable plaque to commemorate their visits to Borno and MDAs. To round up the Group 7 study tour of Borno State, a gala night was organized to roll out Borno hospitality to the visiting NIPS Senior Executive Course 44 2022 participants. In a remark at the event, Governor Babagana Umar Azlum 
represented by his deputy, Umar Usman Kadafir, commended the effort of the participant of Group 7, adding that their study tour to Borno is of immense importance to the people and government of Borno State and urged them to recommend the state in their support. We shall have the recommendations that you are going to make uh, to be useful for no state as a case study. And I assure you that once your report is being presented, you know, Prof is part of you. And I know he has done you proud because today one of your alumni is household name. Nigeria due to his commitment and uh, giving the purposeful leadership to people. In a word of thanks, the directing staff of Study Group, Brigadier General W. D. Nasser, appreciated the hospitality shown the delegation right from their arrival and assured to use all the necessary materials for their assignment. What we saw the third table of the wedding workshop, my participants said, Sir, it's like we're not still going to write our paper. <laughs> I told them it is expected. We're not still, it's a home of intellectuals. It is a challenging task for me. And uh, the reason is simply because they say to whom much is given, much more is always expected. Uh, Your Excellency, sir, since from our arrival at the airport, we were shocked to our bone marrows, the kind of reception, diplomatic reception that was given to us by the good people of Brano State. The Group 7 of the Study Tower presented drugs worth 800,000 Naira to the Chairman Magumeri Luku Government, Dr. Ali Lawan Yomi, in appreciation of his exemplary leadership style at the grassroots. <laughs> Dr. Ali Lawan Yomi appreciated the participant for the intervention and assured judicious utilization of the drugs. Uh, on behalf of myself and two people from our women, Dr. Tewa and Hassan, we sincerely appreciate your kind contribution to our healthcare services and I assure you that inshallah we are going to use this for the GSA. The gala night also featured the popular Kanuri Maliki dance, sung by a popular singer Amina Amisko, Bonsuit Dance of Babur, Police Band, and Shatima Mansur.